meteorologist Mark Molnar with your weather northeastern and tropical update. Let's take a look at Oscar, Hurricane Oscar spinning out here into the open Atlantic, beginning to accelerate fast northeast of Bermuda here, should steer clear of Newfoundland here as it speeds up towards just to the northwest of Europe over the next couple days. This thing's really going to be clipping to the northeast really fast here. So Oscar will be on its way out. Another hurricane down for the 2018 hurricane season. It's been pretty active out here in the middle Atlantic. Don't have much else to talk about. There are some tropical waves here in the intertropical convergence zone, especially very close to the northern part of South America here, Venezuela, and over towards those areas. And we're starting to see, of course, there's the acceleration of Hurricane Oscar. For the rest of the tropics, we got this trough along the east coast that's going to keep all systems away from North America, make it very difficult for them to survive. You got this high pressure system well out here, anchored just south of the Azores. That'll keep Oscar moving on that northeastern jaunt here. So there's the tropics. Let's take a look at the rest of the weather. Precipitation totals across much of North America. Your eyes are pretty well drawn to the mid-Mississippi River Valley, all the way up through the Ohio River Valley to portions of the Northeast. Allegheny, the Susquehanna River Basin, up to the Hudson River Basin into the Adirondacks. This is where we're talking about one and a half to as much as two and a half inches of rain over the next couple days. So this is not good news, especially up here into portions of the Northeast where it's been very rainy as of late get right into that forecast for the pattern here. Got that trough digging into the Intermountain West out here. Also, the eastern side of this trough over the next couple days here, the base of the Appalachians, all the way up the Appalachian chain here. That's where we'll be seeing the unsettled weather as we get successive bouts of low pressure systems riding up along this stalled out stationary front. As far as snowfall, Yes, I got my snowfall maps out here across the northeast. I'm not looking at little, if any, accumulation. So things are going to be getting warmer the next couple days. And let me show you exactly how warm. Here it is, Wednesday. Halloween. Starting off with your Wednesday across the northeast. Unfortunately, for trick-or-treaters over the next, say, 24 hours here into Wednesday evening. Look at this. We're going to be looking at this frontal boundary, the Warm front moving northeast rapidly across the Finger Lakes, Eastern Lake Ontario region. And it's especially after 1 and 2 p.m. here in western New York, western Pennsylvania. The I-81 corridor from Syracuse, Binghamton to Scranton, and eventually towards the Hudson River Valley. I-81 corridor right around that 3 to 4 p.m. time frame. And then the Hudson River Valley right around the 6 to 7 p.m. time frame. This is going to be on the advance, rain likely half to three quarters of an inch. It probably ruin a lot of those Halloween plans here across much of the region. So, but one thing to note here, take a look at this. Look at temperatures behind this warm front, getting well up into the 60s, into portions of central Pennsylvania, western Pennsylvania, even some 60s as far north as parts of upstate New York here. So that's pretty warm for this time of year. And getting on into your Thursday, there is that stalled out frontal boundary. This becomes the focal point over the next 72 hours here across the Northeast. And we continue to be dominated by showers and there will be a ripple of low pressure ejecting out of West Virginia here up along this frontal boundary. And this is where we could see some problems here with prolonged rain that will be developing much heavier than just the showers that we've seen particularly after 4 p.m. on Thursday afternoon, well into Thursday night and Friday morning. This is where we could see a lion's share of the precipitation, 1.25 to as much as 2 inches plus here across Binghamton, Scranton, Williamsport, State College down towards Pittsburgh here. So you're going to want to watch for this, even the Alleghenies, and all the way up towards the northern Hudson River Valley into the Adirondacks, Finger Lakes region. We're pretty socked in here with rainfall into your Friday. We start to see that low pressure system really gathering strength here across western Pennsylvania, pushing that warm front to the north again. You see it starts to get warm again here on Friday, another surge of warm air 
Many areas getting up towards 55 to 60 here, especially from northeast Pennsylvania on southeastward, maybe even as far north as the southern Finger Lakes and central southern tier of upstate New York here. But this is where the slow pressure system really starts to ride additional rainfall likely, so we could start to see some problems, not major problems on area rivers and creeks, but some of those smaller streams might start to get a little bit overloaded, especially since a lot of the growing season is done across much of the region. And into your Saturday, we finally eject this pattern to the east. We kind of clear it out here. We're still dealing with some lake effect clouds and some showers, maybe some streamers off Lake Erie and Lake Ontario. Temperatures falling through the 40s through much of the day across upstate New York and in northern Pennsylvania. We hold on to some 50s here, maybe even near 60 towards Philadelphia and the coastal plain here. But there you have it. We're heading into the weekend and thankfully things will be drying out. Let's take a look at the five day for my hometown viewers from Binghamton to Scranton's upper Susquehanna region of upstate New York, northeast Pennsylvania, all points in between. Take a look at this. Starting off with Wednesday, it's later in the day, unfortunately, for those trick-or-treaters to come rainfall after 3 to 4 p.m. onward, maybe a half to three quarters of an inch of rain. We will be heading up towards probably the low 60s in some parts of our forecast area here, right around 60, 61, 62 right around the Binghamton area. So pretty warm, that's pretty warm for Halloween. Heading on into Thursday, look at this, rain really develops towards the afternoon and evening. That's where the heaviest rainfall totals will be well over an inch, maybe pushing an inch and a half into your Friday as well. We bump those temperatures up again as we have another surge of warm air on the east side of the low pressure system developing. Rain continuing on into Friday night and ending early Saturday morning across the region. And look at that, by Sunday, crystal clear blue skies, temperatures up into the low 50s. Get out there and enjoy it. Don't forget to like me on Facebook at Media Mark. Subscribe to me on YouTube at Media Mark Com, Twitter at WX Northeastern, Google Plus and Media Mark. That'll do it for this edition of Weather Northeastern.